Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to complete the achievements within Terrace of Endless Spring that count towards the glory of the Pandaria Raider achievement. This is the first part of a three part video series and the menu on screen will allow you to choose between the different achievements within this raid and the other parts as well once they have been completed. Now then, before we get started, the group setup that you will need is a tank for obvious tanking reasons, a healer because some mechanics deal a bit of damage and an achievement will be a lot easier if you do have one. And of course, one, two, three DPS. It is ideal that you try and keep your group as small as you can for Leishi, which is the third boss in the encounter, as that boss achievement gets harder depending on how many players that you actually have. For those of you that don't know, you can find the entrance to Therese on the right from the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, next to the Tavern in the Mists. So now you're all in the instance, the first achievement that we're going over is Power Overwhelming. This achievement takes a minimum of three weeks and is not shared between characters. It requires you to pretty much nook down two of your targets and leave a selected one till last. The one that you're leaving until last will be the one that your group needs to progress. If your group has not done this encounter before, just nook this time and leave the specifics to your next run. Moving on, the next achievement that you'll be getting in Terrace is Who's Got Two Green Thumbs. All you will need to do is keep an eye on the enchanted plant located on the right of the raid. Assign your healer to keep it alive. If this plant dies, then you'll need to wipe and start over. If it stays alive, well, you've got yourself an achievement. There are no other specific mechanics that you will really have to deal with. Just nuke the boss down and make sure the healer is focusing on the plant. Then you should get that shiny achievement. The next achievement, Face Clutchers, is the harder one to do in this raid and will require a little bit of coordination. For this achievement, every player in your raid group needs to pick up a mob which spawns in the water on the left and right down these staircases. Once aggroed, this mob will jump onto the player that aggroed it or any player within its path. It is very important that your group does not use any AoE abilities and it is preferred that you get the boss's health down to an easily nukeable amount of health before getting the mobs. This is because because if one of the squids wrapped around one of your teammates head dies before you kill the boss, you will not get the achievement. So make sure every one of your teammates has the squid around their head before dealing that final blow. Take note that the adds during her bubble phase can be distracting and your squid might take a lot of damage. If it does die, then just head back down into the water and get another one. It is also good to note that the squids, once you have them, actually also deal a bit of ticking damage to the player that they're attached to, so having your healer top up people would be a good idea as well. Hopefully by the end of all this mess, you will have all the squids alive and get your shiny achievement. And now for the final achievement in this raid, the Mind Killer. This achievement pretty much requires you to nuke really hard while stacking on the tank to avoid getting hit by stuns and fears. If you do get hit by one of these abilities, you will not get the achievement. But this one's fairly simple and honestly didn't really take much effort at all. So just stack on the ring in the middle, nuke him down, and you should get it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please show your appreciation by leaving a like down below. I'll be trying to get part 2 out as soon as I can and that will be on the Mogushan Vaults, followed by the Heart of Fear for part 3. So if you're new to my channel and you want to see more content from me like this, please throw me a sub and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, goodbye.